Welcome back to Shine Snark. We're fighting. There's a badass in front of us. Looks like we got a badass over here. Once again, I'm behind him. Oh, he's in front of me now. Ah. Now I'm behind him. He really needs to make up his mind. I'm shooting him in the head. Is that a good idea? Yes. I'm going to stab him. Oh, oh, I'm going to yeah. stop stabbing him. Yeah, all right. I stopped because you see, you would be dead. Yeah. You know, I've been doing a very bad job at uh, using my, uh, my ability. Well, Your gun looks like a Nerf gun. It does. It's really weird. That's great. Oh, hey, you know what I saw recently on the TV? The TV. No shit, man. I saw, like, it must be the Hunger Games. That's all I can chalk it up to. But they have these Nerf bows that are purple and called Rebel, like L, like French and shit, for girls. What? Yeah, man, they're making Nerf bows. That's for girls. Kinda cool. I'm into yeah, it. it's neat. I was like, wow, it is a little weird that they're making them purple. I mean, I feel like girls like more colors than. There was an old Nerf bow that was purple, so that for, might just for be girls. Purple. No, not no. No, this was definitely a muted pastel. You know, uh, Easter color purple. <laughs> that is girl color, if I ever heard of something that is a girl killer. Holy crap, there's a fat man! I'm gonna die! Oh no. Oh wow, that was a mistake. I ran away from him. Should I run back over to you? Yes. <laughs> I'm standing on him and I shot him in the head. Oh, that was unnecessary. Oh. <laughs> like most of my rage. Rage. Better than dying. Yeah, yeah. Or re-dying, as the case. I found a thing. Oh, boy. Why are there... Like, we have not come across... Like, we got the quest, sniper rifle, and that's it. What the hell, man? <laughs> what the you hell? Guys are sniper racist. Racist against my people. We guy. suffered a long, a long, a lot of times. Our tribe, peaceful <laughs> tribe, and then the shotgun people came. Everything changed when the shotgun nation attacked. I found a gun. Uh, it's red? What does that mean? Red? Yeah. Oh, that's probably just that it's too high level. Oh, level requirement. I'm a newbie uh, baby and can't use it. Is it just like a decent uh, gun? No, no, it's poop. Uh, I, I thought that it might be okay, but it, it's not. It's because it's red. Yeah, you know, red that's is racist. not... Huh. We here at Shine Snark do not condone. Racist? Racism? Yeah. yeah. We, we do not make judgments. Why did judgment. you hesitate on not condoning racism? It's not that I hesitated on racism. I thought that there was a different... Ah! Term that you called it legally. Ah! Hey, I, I hit him! Nice. That, that, was, that was cool. You, you... Admittedly, I think it may have been good. You consistently run in front of me as I'm shooting. I'm sorry. No, you don't have to apologize. I think it's my fault. Hmm. I'll go I just that. got... I got in the way of your bullet rampage. We seem to be running into a lot of skeletons. Really? Yeah, look. Doesn't, is that a skeleton? Are we gonna run into it? That thing. The thing. The big thing. It's got tusks. Oh yeah, the big, like, scary things. Like Pride Rock? No, wait. The Elephant Graveyard. Lion King! Lion King. Seems. Yeah, it seems like, uh, you know, a game like this those things would only be skeletons if we eventually, like, kick their asses, but, uh, I don't think that ever happens. I wish we would kill something that big. I think there's, like, a boss like that, but that's strange. I will only confirm that, yes, that we do. Oh, great. Spoiled. I'm gonna turn invisible and stab someone. Me, 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 I'm stabbing it. I'm stabbing it. I stabbed him. Come alive. Come alive. Yeah. Oh, headshot, point blank, no scope, 360 to boneless. All right, thank you. Oh, that was some Tony Hawk shit right there. Thank you, thank you. I am Tony Hawk. <laughs> no, no, seriously, I am Tony yeah, Hawk. Yeah, this is actually, we're going to keep it a secret, but he's the real Tony Hawk. Uh, 
I am actually Tony Hawk. I wasn't quite sure how to transition into uh, YouTube video game playing. I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not good at doing anything but skateboarding and making video game noises. Yeah, he actually did all the noises for Tony Hawk Pro Skater with his mouth. <laughs> see, see, yeah. proof, Great. proof, proof. I'm gonna stand up here and shoot this mofo. Pew pew, see? So now that everyone knows that you're Tony Hawk, uh, you're gonna have to take different tactics on this. Uh, do you just want me to say that I'm. that I'm uh, riding down the rails properly? Whoa! Not particularly. Why would I want Because then you could be like, it's called a grind, bruh. <laughs> Thank you, Scott Pilgrim. Oh no, thank you Chris Evans, but, Captain America. Thank you Chris Evans, actually. Uh, you know, yeah, no, we were we were talking about this. This guy does not get enough credit for the shit he puts up with. Oh, I'm trying to revive you, my god. <laughs> I'm, I am I'm fine. I am for the, uh, the fucking wind. All right, all right, keep saying Chris Evans. He's yeah, a Chris great Evans, guy. like, I did not like Captain America, the first Avenger, like, that movie at all. I thought that movie was really bad. I thought it was okay. I thought he was okay as the Captain America in it. Well, that was the thing. Like, he is great. Like, every scene with him in it, like, he, he does the character really, really well. I I didn't know much about Captain America. I didn't particularly like him or dislike him. He kind of seemed like all the a lot of the stuff that is true about Superman. Uh, just less, less of the power and more... And more America! More America. The most America that is possible. I didn't much like Chris Evans as an actor as the Human Torch, his other Marvel persona. Yeah, and I, I almost want to go back and rewatch some of that. Not very much. Not like, uh, <laughs> Okay, yeah, no, almost is, is a good way to describe it. Yeah, almost. Because, like, he's, a, he's good. Like, he's, he's fun to watch. He's, he does good in the role. He's, he's good. But then the movie itself... He is an attractive man. That's also true. Just so much man. I would get all manned up with Chris Evans. I don't know what that means. Wink. Chris Evans, publicist, if you're listening, set this shit up. Better than Craigslist, YouTube. Thank you. So yeah, Chris Evans, everybody. I'm just like him. Some of us more than others. I thought he was a good Captain America. I thought yeah, that no, I, I, I have nothing bad to say about literally any time he was acting as Captain America. Oh, so, okay, so you were talking about TMNT, the first one, the very 1991, being number three. So what, is the Avengers number one? Um, I think Dark Knight is one. Really? That's... I mean, I feel like that's a popular opinion, but I feel like that a lot of hipsters will be like, well, no, no, there's a lot wrong with it. Because, I mean, there is a lot wrong with it. Sure, there's a lot wrong with it. There's way more, like, you can... I'm not disagreeing with you, by the way. I'm just saying... My opinion kind of is that, uh... I think it was one of the first crimson... Mm, opiate. That, opiate. Get that power core back. Uh, Why uh, not kill some bandits? I'm fine. I, I felt like, uh... Uh, me? You felt like he was great? You felt like uh, the Avengers was... Uh, oh, uh, Dark Knight. Uh, sorry about Dark Knight. Uh, huh. I felt like the uh, Dark Knight Rises showed kind of what was wrong. Uh, like, it, it, the things wrong with it made you more aware of what was wrong with the Dark Knight. You know? Yeah, like, that's true. They were true. the same things that were wrong, they were just more wrong. What's his name? David S. Goyer? David S. Goyer, the writer. I believe that I hate him. I'm not entirely sure if it's real. Really uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say that I, I hate him too. Associated him. He wrote Man of Steel, and all the good parts of that were ruined by giant Indian Ocean claw spaceship. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that's, that's the, that's the if you primary seen that, error. But, uh, too bad it sucks. Um, yeah, like I really want that to be good. I was like, Superman, he needs a yeah, good movie. I really want him to be in a good movie. I still do, and I, I have not like high hopes really for for yes. Batman versus Superman, but like I, Mark Zuckerberg has Lex Luthor. <laughs> that could be interesting. And I like I like uh, uh, 
Jesse Eisenberg. Oh yeah, yeah I loved him in Rio. <laughs> I never saw it. Uh, no, I, I like Jesse Eisenberg as an actor, definitely. But uh, you know, it's just kind of weird that he's he's like Luthor. Uh, we had a theory about this, didn't we? We we thought that him being like Luthor means that they're gonna take a weird like Ayn Randy triumvirate here, where Jesse Eisenberg is the like evil kind of successful. Where right, he, where he's like, I don't, I don't bootstraps. He doesn't actually like produce stuff. He like takes stuff from smart people like mm-hmm. Batman and gifted people like Superman. Who is Superman? I mean, John Galt. Oh. 96 pages, Logan. It's a 96 page monologue on that basically boils down to fuck you, got mine. <laughs> I mean, I'm all. For the na- oh, ow, oh, oh, ow, I blew up. I'm sorry, I got derailed. Yeah, it's, it's Train insane. get derailed without captains of industry! <laughs> Let's all go to our own planet. Atlas Shrugged 2, like three weeks later. What? We have to work? Shit. Oh, man. So that was basically uh, one of the planets that they talked about in, in Hitchhiker's Guide. I, I forget which one, but like, which one? Five or six books in the trilogy, right? There was one where they like all of the the smart elite people left a planet and left it alone to die, 